Hello! This will be my first review I filmed in weeks. Um, sorry for the delay. It's just been, you know, a lot of busyness. Haven't really had time to sit down and upload. There's a lot of backlog reviews. But today I'll be reviewing um my green my set of Green Lantern from Blackest Night. It's all of them. Every single one of them. Oh wait, they're off the frame. There they are. By the way, you might be noticing the tape in the background. That is um that tape is because my set has been damaged a lot. There's also a whole there's also tape patches everywhere just just because. Um yeah. If you guys don't know what these are, these are the rings that you got from the comic book store from either the gumball machine or the um or you got free when you purchased the comic books of Green Lantern Blackest Night when that event was going on. They're no longer available at the comic book store. Well, most well, most of them not they're not like officially available anymore. But you might be able to still get some if your comic book store's got a lot of them. Like had a lot of them left. But um yeah, if you're probably in like a small town or something, you probably still have some at your comic book store, maybe. But yeah, I purchased these on eBay. I've paid twenty dollars for them. Um, that's uh, that's substantially less than you than you will be able to find them now because I purchased these about a year ago. Uh, mine are, I think, from the coloring of the green one. I think that they're the gumball machine versions. The only difference was the green was slightly darker on the um, comic book one. Other than that, they're exactly the same. Every ring is made of a um, is made of a a bendy is made of like a flexible hard like really hard rubber like up here it's like super hard can't can't squish it like you're not able to squish the up solid bit because it's fully solid but then like over here you can still bend it a little bit but whenever they're cold like ones I haven't been wearing for a while they're like very hard to move but yeah when you're if you've been wearing them they're more malle malleable they fit very well. The, I believe they're size 8. They're size 8, I believe. Meaning that they will fit most adult and teenager hands. I'm 14. I'm quite, I'm quite large. So, uh, not like fat or anything. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm quite large as in, like, uh, I'm, I'm very tall and stuff. So, yeah. Even though I don't have very big hands, actually. <laughs> ah, huge, giant hands. No, actually, I've got... Small hands. Um, yeah. So yeah, the thing, the rings fit very well. They they look very nice, and they're they'd be great a great addition to any costume or just you know your wardrobe. I wear these all out all the time. You can still close your hands perfectly fine, and if your hands are like slightly larger than than the actual ring, which is kind of weird because they're a very nice proper adult size rings, it would you know probably stretch. If you wanted it to, you could all, always hair dryer them, I guess. And all the rings are exactly the same size and exactly the same around. It, only its difference is the face of the ring is different. And you know they have all of them. They have the um, blue, orange, green, per, um, pink, red, white, um, indigo, black, and yellow. They have all of them. There's also a flash ring that is um. I don't know which Flash's ring it is, just they have Flash's ring that's just like these, only it's a, you know, not the same thing, but it was released in the same set, apparently. I don't own it because I don't have any use for it, I just wanted the Green Lantern rings because I was, we were planning, me and my, my, um, fit, me and my buddy Noah, we were planning on making a fit, NJB23, um, smile NJB7 on YouTube, actually, smile NJB7, he's in my... He's in my cha he's on my channel in the little like um other channels thing. You can find him, go subscribe to him. He's a great guy. He makes some funny videos and um I we he would have tons more with me in them, but I moved away sadly. But um yeah, yeah. So these rings are great. They're a great well, prop replica. They're exactly what you would want in green in the Green Lantern. All the col all the colors of the Green Lantern, or in another Lantern Corpses rings, um, they're fantastic. Um, they're fantastic um, representations. 
Uh, I would rem I would highly recommend them. I pay twenty dollars, but um, they're they're about fifty dollars for the whole set now, on eBay or pro might be able to find them on like places like Big Bad Toy Store or possibly, be somewhere else. I'm not quite sure. Um, there's a lot of other versions too. Like there's the um there's the light up one, all the different like five different movie ones. Um, they actually made a version of these that them um, that comes in a big box set and they all light up. I didn't purchase that one because it was twice as much at the time, so probably twice as much now, get two. And um, I didn't really like how they lit up, so um, yeah, I got these. <laughs> and um, yeah, I didn't really need them to glow, I just put special effects in for that. Um, yeah, all the, all the rings are very nicely colored, they're exactly the right color to what you'd expect if they don't look like what you would, what the comic book looks like. And, um, well, on camera, they do in real life. They're also very nice. They're a bit glittery on some of them. Like, the camera can't really pick it up. It's really, but, um, some of them have this nice glitter tone to them. Not on the red one. On the blue one, yeah, the blue one's got a nice glittery tone to it. Like, it's like in the plastic, they mixed in some glitter. Oh, it's really, it's really there on this one. It's really frosted a little bit, too. Um... Same thing with the, with the green one, yeah. I think these were um, molded in the color and then also painted and then put a glossy clear coat. I believe that's what they did. They might have not, but, you know, I've thrown these around. They don't scratch, actually. They don't scratch easily. I've dropped these, thrown them around. They're very durable. They're probably the best replica rings from Green Lantern you could possibly get. And there's one of each color, so you won't have to worry about having, like, a weird, different-looking ones. For each of your characters, you want to have multiple different colored lanterns in your f movies or cosplay or whatever. They're also very light. They um weigh like basically nothing. They're um they're not very big, but they're the right size. I recommend them. I s think you guys should go pick them up if you're a fan of Green Lantern or if you're just a comic book fan in general of DC or yeah. Also, the detail on them is very nice, like, oh, man, this one is so, spark it's so shiny and sparkly. Also, um, by the way, um, you got all, you got the eight, the normal eight, eight of them, whenever you purchased, um, the comic books of all of the Blackest Night, and then you had to purchase the first one of, the first issue of Brightest Day. Yes, it's just like the, um, the Green Lantern Oath. But yeah, if, if you had to get, you could only get this one through buying the first issue of of Brightest Day, and I believe later on they put it in the Gumball Machine as well. That's probably wrong though. I don't know. I don't have comic book. I didn't have a comic book shop at, in my location at the time of well, when I purchased these. That's why I had to go on eBay. But uh, now I have one. But I'm not really. But I don't really go to there anymore. Well, not anymore. Just not at all. But yeah. Um, these are great rings, they're great prop replicas, um, they are great for running around, throwing around, they look great, they all correspond very nicely in color, and, yeah. I actually heard of some people who got, the, um, who got, um, they, uh, sorry guys, I'm kinda hot and sick right now, it's really weird weathering out here, it's winter, it's winter, but it's, it's kind of hot. Yeah, um, I heard, now this is a, I hope you guys don't hear that blow dryer in the background. Um, I heard some people actually got, um, a blue lantern, a blue lantern ring that was this mold, which is kind of weird. It's, it's the Sinestro, it's Sinestro Corps ring, but only blue. That, that's the weirdest thing ever. Luckily, luckily I did not get any of those because I would have been, like, super mad if that happened because I'm, I, I, I'm not one of those guys who want, who would love to get, like, one of the weird, rare, like, misprints or pa mispaints or anything. I want to get, like, you know, the exact standard ones. It's just me. Also, I'm, like, also one of those guys who, well, I don't, when I, here's part of a, a little, here's a little bit of a rant. Why do people want to get prop, rep, like, actual props for movies? Like, someone, like, spends, like, thousands of dollars buying the actual prop of, like, Captain America's shield or something. 
that was actually used in the movie. Why would you want to do that? Because, I mean, uh, but what if, what if you broke it? Or what if you scratched it? Or if you, if you ruined it? That would be like a shame. It would be a tragedy. Why not just purchase a prop replica that would cost you like mega f tiny fractions of the price and it would be basically the same thing but this time but this way you could get another one if you broke it and also you wouldn't be destroying a piece of film history you would just you know be, you would have like a nice prop that you could use and you could battle damage to your own specifications you could do whatever you want to it and wouldn't have to worry about it about you know wasting all that money and also a ruining a like iconic film prop, be terrible. Um, yeah, sorry, I totally went off topic. I mean that that's also the same like with like Wolverine claw, like Wolverine's actual claws and like Iron Man helmets and I don't know. <laughs> I've got no, I don't, I don't really know. Just like anything, Hawkeye's bow, <laughs> who knows? Hulk's pants. You could you could be wearing Hulk's pants, and then suddenly you you would Hulk out, and it, but you would rip them, and it'd be ruined. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, this is this is gonna. I'm gonna end the review before any more crazy stuff. I, by the way, I, as I have um a sunglasses bag, I like to keep them in because um it's a nice way to c carry them. Yeah, it has a nice little um, drawstring clothes thing, and it holds all of them. I also have a nice order. It's, um, just, yeah, uh, I go, put, I put them in order of my favorite. Pink goes in there, and there's blue. There's blue, indigo, and there's, um, red, orange, black, white, yellow, and green. I have, I have to put them in there. In the exact order every time, or else I, it, or, or else I um, I get really like irritated and and like mad. Um, yeah, <laughs> that that's I was kind of, I I think that's kind of weird sounding. Um, don't pay attention to any of that. Um, this has been a Josh and Prime review. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, thank you. Um, I've been Josh Prime. Farewell.